as a deer is caught on the moon lit night by seeing the light so by perpetually committing sins the players turn into pain the sins thou hast committed shall not leave thee putting a halter around thy neck they shall goad thee away thou art deceived by beholding an optical illusion and on thy couch thou enjoyest but a false lover with greed avarice and ego thou art intoxicated and in self conceit thou art engrossed nanak says like the deer thou art destroyed in ignorance and thine coming and going does not cease a fly caught in the sweet molasses how can it take flight an elephant fallen into a pit how can it escape to swim across shall be difficult for her who has not contemplated on her spouse even for an instant her suffering and punishments are beyond reckoning she gets the fruit of her actions her secret deeds are laid bare bringing ignominy here and hereafter nanak says without the true guru the self willed egoist is defrauded god's slave live by clinging to the lord's feet the lord hugs to his bosom those who seek his shelter god gives them power intellect realization and meditation and he himself makes them contemplate on his name the lord himself is the holy company of saints and himself saves the world the preserver saves those whose deeds are ever pure nanak says god's devotees who come under his shelter never go to hell as a fifth guru go away my sloth so that i may lay my supplication before the lord i enjoy my spouse and look beauteous in lord's company beauteous i look in the company of my groom the lord and day and night i enjoy him i live by contemplating the lord with every breath and by seeing god and singing his praise separation itself feels ashamed for i have seen the spouse sight and his ambrosial look has irrigated me nanak prays my desire is fulfilled as i have met him whom i was looking for run away sins as my creator has come to my home the agents of evil are destroyed as the lord is manifested to me the beloved lord discoursed in the holy company has become manifest to me i have seen the wondrous lord he sprinkles nectar on me and by guru's grace i have realized him my mind is peaceful and overjoyed lord's limit cannot be found nanak prays man's union with the lord in peace and poise is effected by the lord himself man sees not the hell by meditating on the lord the righteous judge hails them and death's courier flee away those meditating on the lord in the holy company attain faith patience poise and peace the lord showering his grace has saved those who have abandoned all the worldly love and possessiveness the guru unites them with the lord he hugs them to his bosom contemplating on the lord they are stiated supplicates nanak by contemplating the lord all thy desires shall be fulfilled if i grasp lord's feet the tree of miracle what suffering can then befall me he alone in whose power are all the things is my lord holding me by arm the lord has blessed me with his name and placing his hand on my forehead has saved me the world ocean does not affect me as i have quaffed the immortalizing elixir of god through the company of the holy and love of the name i have won the great contest of the world battlefield nanak supplicates when i am under the protection of the lord death's myrmidon shall not destroy me again as a fifth guru whatever man does day and night that is recorded on his forehead he from whom he conceals it is with him and sees his actions the creator is with him and watches his deeds so why should he commit sins do virtuous deeds contemplate the name and thou shall not ever go to hell during all the 24 hours contemplate thou on the god's name and it shall go with thee ever meditate on the lord in company of holy nanak says thus 